Welcome to Lesson 9 of Arduino Made Easy. We're going to take a look at an older lesson, Lesson 7, and modify it to take out the crossing lights and replace that with a relay and then add another two IR sensors to it. So let's get started with this right now. I'm Tom Kovicek and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And today we're going to do another Arduino lesson. This is going to be lesson nine. And the reason we're going to do this lesson here is because I've had a lot of questions on how to modify the crossing gate sketch to add a relay to it and add two more sensors for a double track. So this is why we're going to work on this today. But before we get to that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding that bell so you could be notified whenever I have a new video coming out. And while you're at it, check out my playlists. I have them categorized so you could find them easily. So let's get started with this right now. And we're going to take a look at what this looks like here. As you can see, I added two IR sensors to the sketch. I started it out with two and I added two more. I was overthinking the sketch when I was trying to figure out how to put four in there for a double track. And I, it was racking my brains and then finally it, it hit me. Instead of trying to add more code to the sketch, all I had to do was put the IR sensor in parallel with the existing IR sensor. So whenever say the east side IR sensor is tripped no matter which which track it's on it'll trip it on the same pin so we, we're still as you can see up on the sketch uh, sensor one and sensor two and then relay one and as you can see this one here on the left this is uh, lesson seven and you can see the difference in it I have five five and six and then 10 and 11 for the two LEDs. I took the two LEDs out and put the relay one in there. Have the entering and leaving sensor still in there. Sequence started is still in there and sensor count is still in there. I had I took out all these other ones over here. That was in the flashing procedure, which I'll show you down here. It was in the flash LEDs, and so we, we don't need that in this new sketch. I'm not going to type everything in like I normally did. You could do that, I think, by now with the eight lessons that I've gone so far. You've become accustomed to typing in all the commands, and so I'm not going to go with that any further. If you'd like to, you could still do that, but I'm just going to show you the finished sketch right here. There's not a lot to type in because this sketch is much, much shorter than it was before. Let's just take a look at it going down a little bit further on here. We still have the pin mode sensor 1 input, pin mode sensor 2 input, pin mode relay 1 is an output, and we're going to start off digital write relay 1 high because we're using a high on this. To deactivate it because it takes a low signal to activate the relay so we're going to start off with high and in the loop I'm just using procedures in here the the start sequence and the end sequence and I'll show you what those are in a, in a minute here and then the if statement sequence if sequence started you're gonna you're going to use the procedure power relay so the start sequence is the same thing that we used before the two if statements and if digital read sensor one equal low and sequence started equal zero then sequence started equal one so we're going to change the sequence started from not being activated to activated and then we're going to make the leaving sensor sensor two and then once we do that we're going to power the relay so let's go down to power relay and all we do with power relay is we just do digital write relay low so that powers on the relay so 
that's the start sequence and then and here's the end sequence it's the same as what we used in uh, in uh, the lesson seven and we did if digital read leaving sensor equal low and sequence started equal one then we'll do the following now if those conditions are not met we just ignore it but it when both of those conditions right there we're using an and right here we're using the double and right there which says both of those conditions have to be met and once those once those conditions are met then this right here and then we'll run these lines of codes right here and so while and we're going back to the while sequence started equal one sensor count or we'll start with zero that just gives it a time we count through 1 through 40 before we shut the thing off. Now let me uh, put this on here and I'll show you what we're doing here. Okay. So basically everything is the same except for the relay right here. Now you could buy these relays. Uh, I got the, this a pack of five relays for I think $7.98 you can find them on my Amazon page you could get them any brand at any price um, they come mounted on a module which makes it a little bit easier to work with you don't have to solder anything on there you could you know put your uh, wires over here on the pins and then you have the, the uh, three terminals on this side you have the, the normally closed over here, the uh, the common, and then the normally open over here. And what I did was I put a, even though you have a LED on here that lights up when this is activated, and you can see that LED right there, I put the LED on the output so you could see it there. Let me move this thing in a little bit. So you could see on the, on the contacts, on the uh, normally open contact on here when whenever the relay is tripped you show that this thing lights up and that's just an indication there what somebody showed me was they have a module to operate their crossing gate so all you have to do is put the module in the circuit where I have the LED now on here I have the power drawn from the Arduino Uno but whenever you're doing it on your layout you want to use a separate power supply on there for your crossing module if you're using a crossing module on there if you want to operate something else that takes more power than the arduino has say if you're using ac on there you could run ac through this relay as long as it doesn't go over the rated amperage of the contacts on the relay and I'll bring up the, the, the specs on that here in a little bit but it will just go through this again there, there's the entering sensor and here's the leaving sensor and you're counting to 40 and it shuts off now we could come over here and we could come over here also and it doesn't matter which one leaves last We'll leave on this one here and it'll shut it off. Now let's take a look at this module. I'll, I'll show you a couple of different modules that I have here. This specific relay module right here, you can get it at Amazon. You can get them, I think you can get it at Digit Keys. You could get it at Banggood. You can get it just about anywhere or you could use just a plain relay. I showed you how to hook up a plain relay on my welder sketch. I used two relays. I had one on a module and one just a plain relay without the module. And it's a, a, you have to do some soldering on it with one without the module, but it still does the same thing. You have two terminals on here for your power, and then you have the three terminals on there for your contacts on there. Here's some examples of the one I have. This is the one I had on the the uh, sketch right here that I just showed you. This is rated at 10 amps. That relay right there. Okay, that's 10 amps on the contacts for the relay only. Okay, 
on this end right here where you're controlling what you're doing that's hooked up to your Arduino and that is low voltage low amperage you have to make sure that you keep it separated so if you're going to use the contacts on there you have to bring your power in and just run it through you have your your normally closed your common and your normally open right here here's the same thing here but there's four relays on a module you can see it's basically the same thing it's a different brand than this one but they all look alike these come in in two relays on a module four relays on the modules eight relays on the modules I think it even uh, I'm not sure but it might even come up to 16 relays on the module that's if you are using if you want to use a higher voltage on here than you have on your Arduino and you want to power something with the Arduino and not have to worry about burning out the Arduino you could use that's why you use the relays here is an older one this is seed studio I got this one about maybe four or five years ago this is a shield a relay shield it has four relays on it and is this fits right up on top of your Arduino Uno now these are rated these contacts on here as you can see they're it's a smaller relay on it it's about one fourth the size of these this is only a three amp relay you could still run higher voltages on there or different voltages than what you do on your Arduino you have to use the pins on the outputs of the relays for the higher voltage on there but this one's three amp and you can see that fits right up on top of your Arduino Uno it's a relay shield I've had a lot of questions on this subject and that's why I did this uh, a video right here for running accessories and stuff like that you could use these relays on there you can operate anything for your uh, model railroad with these relays you could even turn on your lights with these what you could do with this is unlimited it's up to your imagination what you can do with it but you know I'm just giving you the 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 basics of it to show you how to get started on it let me take you back down to the uh, sketch again and basically it's the same as lesson number seven all I did was take out the LEDs on there and replace it with the one relay like I've said in other lessons if you can do it on an uno you can do it on a nano which is smaller you could do it on a pro mini which is even smaller than the nano it doesn't have to be the uno just to give you an idea of the different sizes here we have the uno here we have a nano i have it set up on a circuit board this is another project that i'm working on right now where I'm using the DF player right here and I think I have like 12 lights for buildings on here here's a pro mini which is even smaller than the nano I showed you the AT tiny 85 on one project on uh, the video before I went on vacation now here's an e AT tiny 84 it has more inputs and outputs on there and you could use it just like the 85 and it could be programmed with the uno so you could have a smaller space even smaller than the mini and put this on a breadboard on a breadboard or on a circuit board and it takes up even less space than any other one of these but that just gives you an idea of the different sizes this is another project that's coming out pretty shortly so that's it for right now don't forget to check out my other videos from my playlist and I'll have some more Arduino projects coming up in the near future and some more on the model railroading in the near future so keep an eye out for that I'm trying to keep up with at least two videos a week maybe three videos a week since I've been on vacation 
but I'm still going to be out there showing you how to do things. So, until then, I'll see you.